picking up where we left off, we got swept in the first round by Ace Bailey and the Portland Trail Blazers. We had no answer for their offense. Me and Scoot Henderson decided to link up and hang out after one of the playoff games. Even though we lost, he's still a cool person, so we decided to chop it up. Taking a look in on Shep Owens and the Miami Heat, they beat the Toronto Raptors in the first round of the playoffs, but they weren't good enough for the Boston Celtics, and they lose in the second round. They had no answers for Jason Tatum. Meanwhile, I'm in the gym with my shooting coach working on my release. I don't like my shooting percentages from last year, and we got swept, so I need to improve. No vacation for me, but Luka and the Houston Rockets end up winning the NBA Finals. They beat the Boston Celtics. That summer, I decided to join the Olympic team, and we ended up getting a bronze medal. If y'all want to see the Olympic video, it's on my channel. In the bronze medal game, I have to do a press conference, and I am absolutely frustrated to not come home with gold for our country she asked me questions and I just gotta sit there frustrated and do my best to just answer these questions responsibly on the other end of Spain they have a 17 year old star who is really showing himself to be a top prospect in the NBA it's going to be a couple seasons for you in the draft, but he has definitely made a name for himself in the Olympics. Now that I'm back in America, first thing I do is go to the general managing and my coach and show them my frustration with us losing in the first round. I'm letting them know this year we're on a mission. We need to improve as a roster, and the fact we made no improvements in free agency or in the draft, I'm really frustrated. And the GM is trying to keep me level-headed. Coach is also trying to keep me level-headed. I'm letting them know this is our year, and we come and shake on an agreement. Coach said this is my team, so I'm going to take that initiative and treat it like it. Nas is my primary scorer, but I'm going to take over more of a scoring role this year. Averaging 25 points. 6 rebounds and 9 assists I think I did a great job taking over that scoring role I decided not to settle just to pass I decided to be more aggressive and take mid range jumper I started to live in a mid range area rather than settle for long range threes if I couldn't get to the rim cause more fouls put more pressure on the defense that was my game plan it worked out perfectly we end up the second best team in the western conference with 59 wins first round of the playoffs we gotta go up against the Sacramento Kings A team that drafted me But traded me to the Mavericks So now this is karma waking up The man that they traded away Is gonna be the reason they get eliminated First game we had a convincing lead over them They had no answers for us offensively I had 22 points in this game easily We had spectacular defense all game long Forcing them into tough shots Meanwhile for us they had trouble with our pick and roll Going down yeah. More of the same Absolutely Absolutely impeccable defense they had no answers for. De'Aaron is their primary scorer. I had him in a box. Great on ball defense. Great help from Okongwu. Pushing that out in transition after the block. Nobody's stopping me from getting to the rim. Come on. Winning game one with a 20 point lead. That was a beautiful debut in the playoffs. We're mad that we got swept last year. Heading to the locker room after that win. We are so proud of ourselves in the way that we performed against that veteran Sacramento team. Colin stepped up with 20. 20 points on 7 for 12 shooting. We proud of him. And Nas led the way with 23 points and 5 assists. Going into game 3. They are now at home, so they have to protect home court. Me guarding De'Aaron is not the defense that we want. He gets an easy layup at the rim. Again, I try to go at De'Aaron on the opposite end, but I smoke my jump shot. Me not trying to pick up De'Aaron, wanting somebody else to guard him, causes a miscommunication and an easy dunk for De'Aaron. Cutting the lead we had to four, but we extend that lead. But De'Aaron, once again, not taking no for an answer, finds another way to score. Kevin Herter putting me in a pick and roll that I was behind on and I couldn't get in front of him for the lay. Keegan Murray uses his body to open up a shot for Kyle Kuzma who cuts the lead to three. We need a guaranteed bucket here. We go to Nas 1v1 against Kuzma and we get that bucket to go. Next possession, Nas smokes a layup. And that leads to Kyle Kuzma running a one-man fast break. Nobody picks him up. Easy and one finish. What are we doing? 
happened. We had a lead the whole fourth quarter and we're slowly crumbling it away as Nas misses another layup at the rim that he should be making. De'Aaron takes a 1v1, they call a foul. He at the line, let's see if he could give them the lead. Definitely ties the game up with that free throw, but this the shot they need to give them a lead with only four seconds left. He knocks it down. The pressure is on us to finish. Me and Nas communicating who taking the last shot, and we both agree that Nas is the one that should get it. So, get a ball to me. I looked at Nas. He got no separation. He knocks it down anyway. Giving us the narrow victory in game three. We take it. We got a chance to sweep the king. De'Aaron Fox having an absolutely terrible performance in game four gave us the victory easy. Easily. Colin put up a beautiful 13, giving us that victory. We sweep the Kings in round one. This is going to be the first time me and Nas advance past the first round. I'm so proud of us. We are happy. Meanwhile, Shep is out in the playoffs and they get swept in round one. Karma. Round two, we going up against the Denver Nuggets led by Jokic. So we put in Nurkic to give us an extra body. Bigger size than Okongwu so he could bump with Jokic down on a block. So far, it wasn't the best idea, but hey, he did what he needed to do to make life harder for Jokic. Right now, you see that size making life difficult for Joker. Misses this hook shot. Easy rebound. This leads to me and Nas running a pick and roll. I throw a lob off the backboard. He catches it this time. But he can't finish the dunk. We going to connect on that pick and roll alley-oop. I'm telling you. Jamal Murray trying to ISO me. I'm not going for it. Great defense from us. Forces into a tub shot. Nuggets played terribly at the end of that fourth quarter. Not only did we win game one. We won game two. Securing both of our games at home. That was beautiful basketball we've played. Forcing the Nuggets into 16 turnovers that game. Gave us the victory in game Game two, game three, the Nuggets snap back and win. On the back of Jamal Murray dropping 32 points, we had no answer for him offensively. That was a great performance out of him. I don't see him keeping that up, but they do end up tying the series in game four as well. Veteran team and the Nuggets exposing our young, inexperienced play. This is our first time in the second round, but we fight back in game five, making the series three games to two, and we have the advantage but at the start of game six we came out on fire and the nuggets fought back let's jump into it. having absolutely no answer against the joker this game look at the lead they have us going into bad shots me getting open looks it's not falling that's just how some games go some days your open shots fall other games they don't they took advantage of that and we had no chance. Now we are in a game seven against the Denver Nuggets win or go home situation. The whole first half was a back and forth contest. Every time we scored, they had an answer. No team could really take a comfortable lead. Jamal had me scared of every shot he was knocking down, so I bite on nothing, give him an easy lane to the rim. We come back and answer with me on a wide open jump shot off the floppy screen. My defense was questionable all game. Okoro, easy lay up down the lane I am letting too many people take advantage bad entry pass to Jokic but they still find a way to get him the ball that's frustrating I call for ISO against Jamal Murray crossover got him going the wrong way open shot can't get it to fall that's the story of me in the fourth quarter beautiful backdoor cut bang on that rim the jump shot ain't falling get to the rim any way you can bad jump pass from Okong Wu leads to an easy layup for the Joker but I keep my head up hit Nas he blows past Michael Porter gets a tough layup to fall let's go Nas I get Jamal Murray to bite on this pump fake I'm surveying the court see Nas open in the corner I deliver him the dot me and Okong we're running a pick and roll Jamal stumble over it I get to my spot and can't get it to fall Jokic fade away at the elbow knocks it in keeping a three-point lead backdoor cut from Nas 
two-point lead. Joker misses a free throw to get him a three-point lead, so I get the ball to Nas. He get the step on Joker. Easy layup in transition. Nas ties the game up for us. Let's go. I'm so proud of him. Final possession of the game. Joker tries to get contact. No foul call. Too late on the putback. We go in the overtime. Nas see me on a floppy screen. Missing another open shot. I am looking stupid. Now I leave Jamal Murray open in the corner. Both plays are my fault. Get an open shot. I am completely falling apart in the overtime. This is embarrassing. Joker hitting a tough hook shot in the lane. Joker getting a step on Okongwu. Beautiful dunk pushing that lead even further. I finally get a shot to go in the overtime. We're down five. Game is getting close to ending. I'm running the ISO on Jamal. They bring help. I somehow get this circus layup to go. Avoiding a defender going under his arm was insane and I blitzed Jamal. Jamal at half court, he pushes me to create separation. Ref call at an offensive foul. Three point game, we go to a pick and roll. Jamal is way behind me. I get an easy rim run for a dunk. Nuggets on the other end, go back down to the Joker and one foul on Okong Wu. This is why we had Nurkic out there. He was stronger, a bigger body. Down four with 40 seconds left. I just say, I don't care. I take on a 1v3 situation. None of my teammates got back. But I decided to just go for an attempt. I get an and one foul. I knock down the free throw, making this a one-point game with 38 seconds left. Jamal gets sloppy with the dribble, and I steal it and get a dunk in transition, giving us the lead. I was making us lose at the start of the overtime. Now I'm the reason we winning. I secured this tough rebound and they got a foul. After that, we played a free throw game and absolutely win the game seven against the Nuggets. We advance to the Western Conference Finals. I sit down with an OG. He's a former NBA player, a former point guard that has played for a successful team. He was a role player, but he put me on game how to be comfortable in these Western conference finals now that we're making a deeper playoff run and our team is getting me acclimated to our scheme against the san antonio spurs how are we going to stop Wembenyana? he's the most dominant player in basketball right now and we got them in this matchup kicking off game one we jumping into the fourth quarter where we have a one point lead and Wemby misses a hook shot and we take advantage of that and start pushing before the defense could get properly set i get a beautiful step back jumper to go from the three-point line. Colin gets this mid-range jumper off of that down screen. Trey Young gets open off of a screen. Little bit of separation means he knocking that down. Turnover from the Spurs up the Nas. He decides to slow it down and dump it to our power forward. Let's go. Mikel was our seventh pick three years ago and he is doing a fantastic job at that role. Me, I tried to get a layup, get blocked by Wimby on the other end. Wimby with a fadeaway over Okongwu. Trey Young trying to ISO at the top of the key. Beautiful matchup. He gets nowhere, but I fall asleep watching him dribble and I leave my matchup wide open. Why would I leave Corey Kisper open, giving the Spurs the lead, and we get a terrible shot at half court? I end up losing us this game by not staying attached to my matchup. Trey Young wins player of the game. And in game two was more of Spurs basketball. Malika took over the scoring load of that game and advanced the Spurs two to nothing. Things happen, but we gonna bounce back. I am very frustrated with the loss. I spaz on my team in the locker room after the game. Next game, we answer back. Nas goes absolutely nuclear this game, and I'm so proud of Nasir. I got to guard Mikel because I am not going to guard Trey Young. I'll tell y'all that. I do a great job on Mikel, but Wimby knocks down a contested three. As I told y'all, Nas went nuclear this game. Get open off the curl, knock down the mid-range jumper. We win that game against the Spurs. Let's go, boys. Media asks, how are we going to bounce back after? 
after being down two games to one. I tell them resilience. We are a resilient team. Don't let them losses get to us. We're taking everything one game at a time. We know the Spurs is the better roster, but we are going to fight back. And we answer in game four by tying up the series two to two. That's what I'm talking about. In preparation for game five, I get an update that Colin is actually injured. He not going to miss the game, but he definitely sore and going to get limited minutes from my media guy here. That frustrates me, honestly. That's bad news. I'm asking him, what else do we know about the roster? Obviously, Okong Wu already playing sore, but we got hurt players. It's deep in the playoffs. They're going to have to fight through their injuries if they really want to win. Spurs have a lead currently. Killian Hayes hit that beautiful three-pointer, and Banton coming off of this screen, getting downhill, contested layup, hoop, and the arm. He draws the foul and makes the end one. I told y'all, Okong Wu and Kyle are injured so we need production from other players and we're getting that when Benyana running point center right there completely confused me Nas wide open misses the easy jumper Nas wide open again misses another jumper this is the issue we're having in the fourth quarter Nas is getting good looks but they're not falling causing us to get more and more of a deficit me I'm forced to take a tough three-pointer that obviously doesn't go the lead is four Trey Young misses that Wimby get a rebound misses that Wimby with another rebound dunks on Okongwu with an and one he is a monster down here this is what we're dealing with with the best player in the NBA when Wimby isn't a problem Trey Young is fadeaway corner three. Oh my goodness the pick and roll of Wimby and Trey Young is next to impossible to guard because you don't know what to do as a defense they won that game five Game six is underway and Trey Young is putting pressure on our defense. Nas get a contact dunk on Wemby. We got a lead in the third quarter. Nas with a beautiful layup. Now we got a fadeaway jumper from Alex Costanza. That was a great shot. Nas getting downhill. Contact and the foul. Let's go Nas. Me off a curl. Wide open three. Come on man. In the bottom of the net. Wemby dribbling from the three point line. Hit a fadeaway jumper over Banton. Man, Wimby is talented. I get a steal on the Spurs. I'm out in transition. Easy dunk on a fast break. Screen and roll. Try to get that pass to go. Me and Basley. Easy play. Wimby fading. Knockdown. Wimby got so many layers to his game. Crossover wide open mid-range shot. How do I miss that? We're up four. Wimby down the middle. We're up two. Now we need a timeout to increase the lead back to four. Wimby, pick and roll, easy dunk, back to a two-point game. Wimby ain't going without a fight. I get the ball, off-ball screen for Colin, wide open, three-pointer. He hurt, but he making it work. Good steal from Okongwu. I'm up in transition. We push the lead to seven off the layup. The Spurs don't have any other option besides Wimby and he misses that now we starting to break this game wide open we get a mismatch with Trey Young on Nas we take advantage next possession we switch Trey Young on the Nas again and now we got him going in another ISO get to his spot and pull up over top of Trey he ain't got no defense for that Spurs down nine they trying to do anything to come back Trey Young hit this incredibly difficult three-pointer but too little too too late, Okongwu put the nail in the coffin for the game. We exploited every mismatch we had. We played smart the whole game, and we extend this series to a Game 7. Back-to-back -back series are going to a Game 7, and all I can say about that is I hope y'all ready, because now it's time for us to really take advantage of the Spurs. We're down three, and we're trying to cause disruption, but an easy pick and roll for Wimbignana. We're putting Alex Costanza in a pick and roll. I get an opening in the mid-range and knock that down, baby. That's too simple. Wimby fading away over Okongwu since he can't back him down. Down, they got the lead to five. Me get an open three-pointer. Bang! The lead is only two. Trying to get a stop on Wimby, we could actually make progress. Wimby over Okongwu 
double fadeaway, he finds a way to make another shot. We throw a turnover to Corey Kispert. Kispert pushing the transition right to Costanza. Fouled and won. That is frustrating on our end. Trey Young got the ball, lobbed to Wimby. At this point, we couldn't do anything to stop the Spurs. Corey Kisper fake a screen and cut back door Romy. Okongwu was there, but he still continues the and one. There was nothing we could do against this San Antonio team. They ultimately win the Western Conference Finals. Making Wimby the MVP of the West Coast. He did his thing.